<laughs> oh, it's so nostalgic. Yeah, you watch this as a child, right? I used to watch this all the time. I don't think I did, but I remembered th this intro really well. So I don't know if I maybe did watch it, I just don't remember it at all. I maybe got this far and just got too scared. So I backed out. I was like, I can't do it. I don't want to worm. Wrigley's. Oh, spindle shanks are so cute. I want a little spindle shanks toy. You can get them anyway. I'm sure we could have a look. You can make one out of a grape. Was this only aired at Halloween or was it like a it yearly thing? It was all year thing? round. It's so weird. I can't say I love the animation style. But then we were looking at the new ones as well. On the, on the players on YouTube and the new ones just look fucking horrendous. Do you remember being traumatized much from this show? No, generally speaking, I absolutely adored it and I loved it and I couldn't get enough. But there were a couple of episodes that were just a little bit more dark and out there. Like that when you watch them ones, it shakes you up. Yeah. So there's, definitely, there's like a sweet spot with like kid stuff. It goes from being like childhood imagination to just being downright, downright yeah. horrifying. At the scene of Willy Wonka in the tunnel. Why is the hairdresser in school? I don't know. And he wrote the name down. Oh no, she's in the book. It's in the death note. All the children are like drawn the same. They're either really skinny and pointy like them, or they're really fat and round. <laughs> There's no middle ground. Lifting the barber's collection of slugs. Slugs! I think they might be tongs. Are they? Oh, is that what he does? He cut his tongue out? Looks nah. Like no. Ugh, oh, he ate it. He ate human tongues. <gasps> tongues everywhere! Tongues ahoy! They are tongues. They are. Oh, fucking hell. This is disturbing. I can't believe you watched this as a child. It should fuck me up. You're gonna be sick. I know. <laughs> this is making me genuinely <laughs> queasy. This is the kind of shit they make creepypastas out of. Does anyone remember that show? When the barber cut the tongue out of it? What's the moral here? I know, it's like they're just a little bit gobby and they lose their tongue. Like, and then there's just ones that are like... They're a bit talkative, they get facially yeah. mutilated. Or they, or they just have a bit of a shopping habit. <laughs> it's like fucking Jonathan Groff in Hamilton. What's the moral? Don't be a gobby <laughs> Or you'll lose your tongue. The Broken Down Cottage. <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh, here we go. This is my aesthetic. Halloween! I feel like this one already would have freaked me out as a child because this kind of shit used to terrify me because of Michael Jackson's thriller. I used to hate foggy graveyards. And school buses! It's the hash singing slasher. Halloween town. That to me looks like a broken down cottage. Yeah. Wait a minute, that's what the episode's called! <gasps> <gasps> Done in! <laughs> Why is there a big coronavirus on the rug? Oh, yeah, there is. This cottage. He's haunted. No oh, shit. <laughs> Ghost. They come in the dead of night. Don't we all, brother? Dead of night's such a strange expression. Mm. Dead of night. There isn't no a dead of night anymore. It's there isn't really. nightlife, innit? Do you think that's why in like every kid's story you read, everything bad happens at midnight because they want kids to go to sleep early? Because I, I always grew up being like, oh, it's midnight. Yeah, Scary things happen I, at midnight. I genuinely had this belief that if I was still up at 12 o'clock, then the witches would come and get me. This looks exactly like the Fireman Sam Fireman. Maybe it is. It's the crossover we've been waiting for. It's gonna be a fire. <laughs> Bet they're dead. Oh god, maybe they are dead. Maybe this is like the upside down. Oh, they're fine. I think they're ghosts. Whoa! <laughs> he died in the fire! <laughs> Fucking hell! Jesus Christ! That was a dark one. The Scream Square! Grizzly Tail Sfiguration Kids! Oh. <laughs> well, I if you went to the cinema and it was in that condition. I have. <laughs> Someone used to work out. <laughs> yeah. I always wondered why you took that, that coin out of the tower. <laughs> Do you know now? No. It's not a coin. It's a film, film reel. reel. Why are those coins so big? Revenge of the Bogeyman. <laughs> Your classic tale twisted Wait, do I need up. To, do I need to have seen a prequel to this to no. understand this? Okay, thank God. Oh, uh, this is making me fucking wretch. <laughs> I genuinely can't watch this. I hate snot and shit. It's okay. Just squeeze my arm. It'll be okay. It's Halloween. You can Don't do like it. Don't like it. It's actually making me quite sick. It's all right. She'll get revenge on her. Oh, she fucking dies. <laughs> This bitch. Imagine picking your nose in your sleep. I'd roll over into it and fucking impale my own brain. That's how <laughs> stupid I am. I don't like how he doesn't have a nose. Well, why would he? He's from a nose. True. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with that logic. So the bogeyman ate her. What? I thought he was going to pickaxe the brain. Oh, this is fucking disgusting. It looks fun, though. It doesn't. The Nickelodeon slime fest. <laughs> She's become the bogey. This is fucking horrific. Oh, this is fucking traumatizing. Telling you all your bogeys are sentient creatures living in your nose. <laughs> Very curvy table. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the earth's flat. Look at that curvature. <laughs> that would be fun. I'll hang on to the yuvula and go for a swing yeah. ride. Now do you get it? <laughs> no. And with that... He whisked her back through time and space. What the fuck? They really just threw that in there. <laughs> the boogeyman opened a portal through time and space. Disgusting. 
Oh, now she picks her ears. ears. <laughs> oh no. He lost his brain. He'll never get through college. <laughs> This guy's a real to the spider, I'm not here for it. It's so horrible, it's literally animal abuse. No, you fools! Nah, I don't buy it, I don't buy it. Ah! <laughs> it's that carpet from the from the cottage. The broken this down is the broken down cottage. What the fuck? Sometimes being stuck behind a locked door is not the safest place to be. Oh, what? Name, name one time, mate. Name one time. In a fire. Shit, you're right, yeah. Are the trolls gonna be disguised as a parent? Jules. <laughs> da -da. Um, Fucking great be sharks chewing on the knob. Simon was unsure what to do. <laughs> now let me see. Do I save my parents? Let me weigh up the options here. <laughs> Simon opened the door. You twat. Quick, shut it again. That's so quickly, didn't oh, it? Oh god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why did he become a chicken? Three chickens. <laughs> What the fuck? How is this a kid show? It teaches you not to argue with your parents. No, it didn't. It teaches you don't let a troll in your room. Um, so what is it about this one that you remember? Just the, kind of the whole thing. It's quite scary. You'll find out and I'll let you know when it's okay. gets to the traumatizing part here. Okay. Yeah. Cocks. Look how happy he is. He's gonna get fucking abused in some way. He is. No! Leave him! Ooh! <laughs> Happy horses! Basically famous five, innit? But six. I was gonna say it was it. Oh, harder. Smack my booty, please, rabbit. Thump me, thump. <laughs> what will be the ironic twist? Will they become apples on a tree or will they become fish? This is making me feel so gay. <laughs> in the old fashioned way. Giddy. Who even wants an apple? Oh, I really fancy me an no, apple. They want an apple to fish with. Maybe. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, I'm so, uh, I'm so scared. Stinker, no! Get blasted in the face. He shoot the dog! What the fuck? Oh no, he's gonna shoot them one by one. The insecticide that the farmer had sprayed on his apples took effect. Oh no! But how is that good for cider? I don't know. Oh, he's alive. Or is that a different dog? He just shot him up the arse. I think I maybe missed the twist there. Did it become cider? Oh no, he did put their bodies in it. Ah, oh, he's an apple. Hi, like kids. That was Grizzly Tales for Gruesome. Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids. Hope you enjoyed. Happy I Halloween. was joined again by Renee. You can check out her social media on the screen here. Let us know if you've watched Grizzly Tales. Let us know in the comments if and you've what, seen what it. What episode traumatized you? We will put some helplines up so <laughs> you can get help should you need some. Thanks for tuning in. Happy um, Halloween. Join us again next time for more spooks and ghouls as we lead up to Halloween. Ooh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>